to when I was a student, there were no women. So Cecile DeWitt was a role model, but also many men were role models to me because there just weren't enough women of that stature. Mentoring is, uh, is, is actually one of the most crucial things for encouraging women to, to do mathematics. If you want to increase uh, more female in mathematics, you should show a variety of role models with a different motivation, different background, uh, different uh, plan of their careers. That is very important. A big plus to be a mentor, and it's a big plus to be mentored. She's always said, you know, I want to be recognized for my science, not for my gender. We definitely need more women in science, and we need, uh, I would say, more generally, more diversity in science. Uh, I think diversity really makes uh, uh, research uh, more creative. The Institute is one of the best places in the world for scientists to lead research and stimulate their creativity. I remember mathematicians and physicists who were visiting IHES telling me that the few days they had spent, they were some of the most productive in their careers. Many of the mathematicians and physicists in the United States had transformative experiences at the IHES, as did I. The two years uh, uh, I spent at IHES uh, between 1987 and 1999, I must uh, say uh, they have uh, profoundly marked my scientific career, and they've been uh, fundamental for my research. I was very honored to, it was uh, one of my first talks after my PhD I gave, you know, at IHS. And I mean, of course, everyone in the audience were men and I gave this seminar and I received really interesting feedbacks. Scientifically, I believe that the IHS is one of the top research institutes worldwide. I mean, she felt so at home here at the, and felt so well treated um, by the other physicists and mathematicians here, um, and really by everybody who made her stays um, here both productive and enjoyable. IHS offers superb working conditions in a very pleasant and rather unique environment. There's a very special atmosphere here, completely focused on research. She told me that for her it was really um, a heaven of peace um, and a, a place where she could actually continue her scientific career. The community spirit at IHS um, was both very good socially, but very good mathematically as well. She particularly enjoyed uh, the lunches. I loved the lunches. I really did. They made me feel like I belonged. They made me feel like I was part of a vibrant community. People in the Institute uh, come from different backgrounds scientifically. I learned about different topics that could be applied to my research uh, indirectly or directly. So that was really nice. And because I don't think it would have occurred to me to approach an algebraic geometer and try to start a collaboration. I know that IHES is heavily involved in welcoming female scientists and that the arrival of Laure Saint-Raymond is a great beacon to women around the world who dream of joining the world's leading research institute. Clearly, the number of women who have spent time at IHS either at um, you know, long visits or shorter visits or workshops has increased uh, quite considerably. I mean, I notice that the number of uh, young women uh, is increasing. If we do not have women and underrepresented minority role models, we will lose so much of our talent. We should all be working on this constantly. If not, we are losing approximately 50% of a country's scientific potential. I am sure that your generosity will contribute 
to someone like I was 35 years ago, getting my start at the IHES.